Well, hello, my beautiful Virgo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for mid-March right through to mid-April 2021. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, I will be doing a, a competition there um, for one lucky subscriber to win a personal reading. Uh, I don't do the competition often, but I'm going to choose one lucky subscriber on the 12th of April, which is the new moon in Aries. This is one of the most critical times for uh, the new moons throughout the year. It's a time to cultivate your vision. So um, I will be doing one of those. I'll tell you how to enter the competition right at the end of the reading because some people are here for the competition uh, as well as the reading, but some people are just here for the reading and I don't like to waste anybody's time. So let's get straight to it, my beautiful Virgo. What do they need to know? Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Garden Angels. What do my beautiful Virgo need to know for uh, their career, um, for the time period I've set? We have the full card. Okay, this I'm using the Ex-Animo Tarot deck, just to let you know, series of major arcana cards um, to get the faded energy of the time period I've set. You're doing something new here, Virgo. There's an energy of taking a leap of faith, but also having a, a lot of potential in a certain area. I feel like you're coming out of your comfort zone. I also feel if you've got a Libra placement anywhere, I feel like there's something here to do with, I'm going to come to that card in a moment, there's something to do with high level commitment. So either you're thinking about partnerships in terms of business, um, or you're thinking about partnering up with your partner or spouse or something, there's something there in that energy that I'm picking up on. Uh, has similar kind of energy come out for uh, the Libran reading? We got the Death card. We got the Temperance card. Uh, they've asked me to go one more. They're also just indicating right now that, uh, oh, you can even see it's gone quite red, actually. I just got a, a, an energy here that someone's either just burnt themselves in this area or got bitten or something. There's quite a sharp sort of pain that happened here right now. Um, it's actually, when you look at my arm, you can see it's all gone a bit red there. But it's not me. It's not my energy. I just react to energy. Um, so either... Something just happened to you just a moment ago before you listened to this reading. You either were doing something, you either hot oil spat on your arm and, it, and it's burnt you or you burnt yourself in some way or something nipped you or bit you in that area. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everybody. If it does not resonate for you, it does not mean it's not your reading. They're just indicating that that person needs to pay close attention to the reading. Thank you so much. Ooh, some big decisions here, Virgo. We have... The Fool card, we have the Temperance card, we also have the Death card, and we got the Judgment card, okay? You're calling time on something, you are ending something. I feel very much like you're moving into a new beginning, a new era, with a lot of skill, a lot of confidence, there's action and change here, but I feel like Wherever you were or whatever you've been doing, you've lost a little bit of hope. There's a little bit of cynicism in this area. I feel like either you're, you've been forced to end something, so perhaps uh, you've lost your job. We will clarify this energy in a moment. Um, and you're working out what it is that you want to do or you're stepping away from an industry um, or a job position where you're like, I'm not sure if I want to do this anymore. I want to do something new. Uh, I feel like you're coming out of your comfort zone and you're having faith that anything and everything is possible here. I see a fresh hope for your future. I feel like you're taking a risk. You're taking a chance on something and it's going to really pay off. It frees up your time. I feel like you're going to be very um, shrewd with your time. It gives you a lot more time to work intensely, but also play intensely. I feel like you're going to be enjoying yourself a little bit more. Um, the stars are aligning for this. I feel like you're... Again, like the Libra energy reading that I did, I feel like you're going to go higher. 
you're 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 going higher and higher and you're about to take a, a huge leap into something new so either you're rising up within the industry that you work in and then there is a position like the position of all positions the big one that comes along and you're like whoa i gotta take a leap of faith to do this one um i feel like you're the right person for the job but you may be wondering whether you are. There's a little bit of fear here. We will clarify that in a moment. We have the temperance card. You may have felt a little bit chaotic re recently, lost, like you lost your mojo, disruptive energy, but you're coming back into balance. I feel like you've been weighing up a lot of things, re-examining your priorities with this. I feel like you've also had a lot of patience with where you've been so far. You've been waiting a long time for something new to come along, you may be taking that power back and deciding to just action it yourself. The unified position indicates you're ending something here, but you've been questioning it for quite some time with the judgment card. It's almost like, do you rebirth it? Do you renew it? Do you want freedom for, for it, uh, from it? I feel like you're at a crux. You're at a, a decision point. There's a fork in the road here, and I feel like you're having to make a choice either to end something with the death card. There's definitely change needed here. Uh, you've got some new beginnings, a lot of new beginnings, but you may be weighing up, where is your soul path? Where do you fit in? You've been doing what you've been doing for so long that maybe you've forgotten or lost your way in it and realized you don't love it anymore. You know, you may have lost your mojo for something that you used to love, and that's okay. That's not failure. That's about recognizing, you know, where you're wasting your time if your heart is not invested. With the judgment card, there's clarity. There's a final decision. So whatever you've been weighing up here, whatever you've been trying to work out for a new start, you're listening to your inner call, that that soul call. I, I feel like you're not doubting yourself anymore. So if you felt like you were doubted yourself or you were rejected, you were rejected in a, another position or you, know, you, you lost your job in some way, I feel like it's freed you up. It's actually done you a favor. That's the energy that I'm getting because I feel like you're exploring something exciting and new. When you get a death card, there's often an energy of something better coming along that is more in line with your purpose. Um, and I feel like it's wonderful. I just get this energy that it's exciting, okay? It may feel nerve wracking at first and chaotic, but I feel like you're riding the wave, okay? Now, what is the present moment? How are you feeling in this present moment to of earth? You're working a lot. Virgo, you're spinning a lot of plates, okay? Multitasking, doing a lot of things, weighing up a lot of choices. What's important about this particular card is you're weighing up your options because you want to find something, a work, that you, you know, a career that you enjoy, that you find pleasurable, but also that gives you enough time to play. You may have been all work and no play, and that makes Virgo a very dull girl or boy, okay? Or man or woman. Uh, there's an energy here with this two of earth that you've got some options. Uh, there's a lot of conditions that are changing, outward uh, con conditions that are changing. I feel like you are fully present within this storm or within this change. I feel like things are going to develop in a very unexpected way, but one way or another, you're in line with your dreams and you're about to manifest a lot of prosperity in the material world, okay? I feel like you're on the way, but you're finding opportunities within your vicinity to do something that you love and give you time to enjoy yourself also, whilst also being financially rewarding, okay? They're just saying Pat, Pat, P-A-T. So either your name is Pat or Patricia or Patrick or something, uh, please take it as it resonates. They're just saying Pat. Now it could be that you just patted something. It could be you just patted your dog, your cat. I'm not sure what they're, they're just saying it, so they're not giving me any images with that. Uh, so I'll just move on. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Just to let you know, if I say anything that does not resonate with you in terms of images or names, it does not mean it's not your reading. It just means whoever it does connect to, their attention may have wavered from the reading for a moment, and Spirit's just calling them back, okay, into connect to the card that is being discussed. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. What is the challenge in this situation for my beautiful Virgo? Ace of Water, opportunity to do what you love. Ace of Water could also be, you know, you, you work so hard, Virgo, that you've got no time to find love. And maybe you're wanting to free yourself up here um, to do something that you can factor in a lot of things. For example, you may want to have a child, or maybe you just had a child, and you're trying to find uh, a, 
a work that embraces the time that you can give to it, the money that you need from it, but also gives you time to look after your family or, you know, free your time up. But I feel very much like it's more about opportunity. When you get an ace of water, especially when it is to do with career, it is about um, contracts or proposals to do what it is that you love doing, you know, finding your bliss and money will flow from there. Okay. Investing in a career with love. You have a lot of knowledge, Virgo. Your, 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 your brain itself is like a supercomputer. You've got a million miles a moment kind of thoughts going on there. You've got a lot of skills. You've got so much knowledge. You've got passion. You've got drive, ambition. Sometimes you forget about enjoying yourself. Okay. Uh, you, it's, it's not that you really forget. It's like you find yourself with little time to do it. And now I'm just getting this energy and this is not going to be for everyone. Now that things have really changed around the world in terms of a working week or, you know, a lot of people are working from home um, or, you know, are not within the usual office settings that they used to be. There's an energy here that there's no timetable. It feels like work is happening 24 hours or a lot more hours than usual. It's almost like if someone calls you for a project at say 9 p.m. or sends you an email at 9 p.m., it feels like you still need to be on it at 9 p.m. You're, there's no rest here. I feel like you're trying to juggle a lot of things, okay? And it's almost like you're saying something needs to give. I need to stop. I need to find something either new or I have to change my way of working in order to be on the right path, listen to my soul. Because I feel like you're trying to manifest a new opportunity here. Now, I also feel, Virgo, that you've been a little bit let down in some way or disappointed with the workspace that you work in or the uh, career that you've been working in. You may have been working a lot of hard work, doing a lot of hard work with little reward. And I feel like you want to shake that up. I also feel like aces, they bring new. So I feel like you're, you're wanting to manifest a new... Um, opportunity to do something that you love that also brings you a financial reward okay now what is below you deep down what's carrying you through the star card that's a wonderful energy deep down your underlying feelings is that you've got hope that there is something better there's a new version of yourself Virgo and I feel like this is your time to shine you're letting your inner light out okay it's almost like they're asking you to peacock show yourself off show your skill set off you're not usually the sort of person who goes out shouting about what it is that you can do, okay? Uh, you're quietly confident in your skill set. Sometimes you doubt yourself. You shouldn't, but I mean, we all are human. Uh, so, But I feel very much like you know what you need to do. You've had an epiphany or some sort of illuminary kind of energy moment where you've gone, I know what I want to do. I've got a new idea and I'm going to follow it. The stars are actually aligning for your success. Also, I feel like you're very connected to the universe right now, Virgo. Whatever it is you're trying to manifest, the stars are aligning for this. But also there's some sort of miracle or something working behind your back. Something that's more tangible than a miracle. I feel like you're having faith that your manifestations are coming to fruition. I also feel like you want things to be healthier. It's almost like you want a healthier timetable, you want a healthier lifestyle, you want a healthier job, you want a healthier diet. I feel like there's a lot of healing that's going on here. And you're thinking about yourself first, which is very important. Okay, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. What is in my beautiful Virgo's recent past? What is in the recent past? Temptation. The Devil card, number 15. Okay, now I have to say it. The first thing I'm getting with this card, Virgo, is addiction, obsession, and with work, okay? Perhaps even an unhealthy obsession. There's something here, because you work so hard, you love what you do, sometimes you feel like it's not work. And it takes over your life, because you love the details of it all. You love over, you know, overseeing everything. You may even take on a lot, and you could delegate sometimes, but I feel like you don't. I feel like you resist the urge to delegate, because... It's almost like this energy I'm getting that what's the point in teaching someone else how to do it when you could do it yourself in half the time? You're the person for the job, so you might as well do it yourself. That's the energy that I'm getting. Also, there's a secondary energy coming in here, attachment. It's almost like um, a warning, you know, and you may have had some sort of wake-up call in the recent past that your attachment to working so hard has left you kind of feeling very lethargic. No energy for yourself. No real enjoyment. 
okay, um, for all the riches that you're making. It's almost like you're making ends meet, you're paying your bills, but you've got no downtime for yourself and you're not able to even enjoy the rewards or the fruits of your labor, okay, because you're, you're pooped, you're exhausted, okay. Um, I feel like you're releasing that temptation uh, to overwork because I feel like you're in... You're seeking something new that is more rewarding, both emotionally as well as financially. Now, what is above you? Thank you so much. Ooh. The potential. Oh, look at that. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Lady Luck is on your side. Now, I feel very much like there's a turning point here for the better. It requires you to come out of your comfort zone. That's why you got the, the full card, the, the Wheel of Fortune. Both entail some sort of risk. But with them both in the upright, it indicates the risk pays off, okay? When you get a Wheel of Fortune, it's about destiny meeting synchronicity. You're ready for this moment. You're ready for this change. Whatever this leap of faith is, you're ready for it. You've been in training for it for a long time. I feel like this is not something that you've just woken up and gone, I need to change. It's been slowly dripping like a tap, like drip, drip, drip in the back of your consciousness going, things need to change. I need to, go, I need to have some time for me. You know, I feel like you're very, you're very nurturing, wonderful, healing, supportive kind of person to other people, and you're a great leader. I feel like you're very emphatic. I feel like you're a hard worker. You're all of these things to everybody. So when you sit with yourself, you're like, well, who am I to me? There's an energy of what should I do for me? Yeah, you can go and have a bath and relax. Yeah, you can cook yourself the, the best food. But really enjoying the fruits of your labor, you've not had a real opportunity to do that. Now, I feel like there's some sort of lucky break that comes in towards you and helps things just turn out perfectly the way that you're hoping for. Okay, your destiny sort of becomes obvious to you because you are questioning it right now with that judgment card. You're weighing up a lot of sort of, um, they give me the word formalities. So perhaps you're weighing up some things, contractual things that you have to get out of before you move forward. Um, they're giving me this song. Uh, they give me car wash. Working at the car wash. I'm not going to sing for you. Nobody needs to hear my singing voice. Um, so either you're listening to the radio and all of a sudden car wash has come on the um, the radio as you're listening to it. But I feel like it's the lyrics that are important. One moment, please. I'm just trying to hone in on the songs. They're just playing it in the loop. One moment, please. It feel, I, I can't quite get the lyrics, but I feel very much like um, working really hard kind of energy, not getting much money for it. Enjoying what you do, but at the same time, I feel like you're shouting about your skills elsewhere. Your skills could be employed elsewhere and you could almost like have your time with what you do earn the same money, if not more, because I feel like there's more money. Um, and I feel like people are going to come to you for whatever it is that you do, because you're following your heart, okay? They're highlighting number 10 for me, which is endings bringing new beginnings, okay? So very, very... Uh, it's almost like there's a lot of self-reflection here, but whatever it is you're trying to action, that's new or embracing this new, I mean, this could be even just a new project that you're like, you get it done in double time. It's a lot more money. It's more rewarding. It gives you time to enjoy yourself also. Okay. What is in the near future? Moon card, something surprising comes to the surface. Okay. I feel like there may be some sort of uh, unseen problem here. Now, I, whether this was, um, a health problem that sort of popped up there where you're like, I'm exhausted. I'm eating really well. I'm taking all the vitamins. I'm doing okay, but I'm exhausted all the time. It's because you're burning a candle at both ends. That's the energy that I'm getting. But the moon card indicates there's illumination here. Okay. Um, they want this card as well. So I will be obviously giving it in the same position, but the moon card is an indication here that you may have delved into your shadow side briefly, um, recently because I feel like you started to get a bit negative about your workspace in some way, lost a little bit of hope, cynicism. I feel like there was a lot of frustration here. I feel like it was, um, you're trying to turn things around. You don't want to be unhappy. Of course, nobody wants to be unhappy, but I feel very much like you're changing things 
It's like a metamorphosis. You're becoming aware um, that something needs to, to give here. I feel like you're shedding an illusion. You're releasing the fear. And I feel like the stars are actually aligning here for your success with the moon card. There's so much... Um, so much voluntary changes you're making in order to make a better a better work life balance for you we got another two two of fires that's two uh, double two there and a lot of major arcana i mean i don't know if you've noticed but we've got a uh, double two we've got an ace these are really powerful uh cards here and the rest are majors Okay, temptation, the devil card, star card, wheel of fortune, the moon. There's a lot of illumination in the time period I've set. And as we hit that new moon in Aries, I mean, there's clear vision and you're cultivating it for sure. You're going to be very successful in whatever it is that you're trying to action here. The two of fire indicates that you're just on the precipice of something big. Can you see it? You're just so close. And um, the two of fire indicates you may be waiting for some sort of results though. And they come to the surface pretty um well i'm getting that this is in the near future they'll give me number 18 now that is the, actually the moon card <laughs> so um maybe on the 18th there is something some sort of change or shift here or some sort of news that is coming on in because the two of fire is the two of wands waiting for something uh, waiting to hear about something that you're passionate about but I feel like there's also choice here. Now, what's really interesting about this card is that this is a giraffe right here. This indicates spirit. And as you can see, long neck spirit can see the journey ahead. They can see over the obstacles. And as you can see this figure, she's looking bent down there like she's exhausted. She may have even given up on the journey feeling like she had a big spurt of passion with the ace of wands and she's really excited. But now she's like, she's on hold or felt like things did not go in her favor as quickly as she had hoped. So therefore, she's in this sort of limbo kind of energy and spirit saying, don't give up. I'm still carrying the torch for you. I'm still carrying you part of the way. You're nearly there. Don't give up. You're definitely on the right path. So there's something here where you make a voluntary change, but I feel like it's necessary for you to move forward on your path. And again, there's more illumination. I feel like it brings you a lot of finances in the future. Now, I don't smoke, but they're indicating someone is smoking right now. As you're listening to this reading, maybe it's um, your guilty pleasure. I'm not here to judge anybody at all. What you do with your body is your, your business. Uh, but if that's you smoking or vaping or something, it smells more like smoke um, than vaping, uh, then there's something in this message for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know? You may have just taken up smoking. They're giving me, you may have just taken up smoking to calm your anxiety. Uh, I mean, it's almost like you may have given up smoking, but you've revisited it because you're about to make some major changes. Even though you're being a healthier version of you, I feel like there's a moment where you're like, oh, I just need to calm my nerves. I'll just, just do it a couple of times. I'll be fine. I'm not going to get back into this. If that resonates for you, then there's something in this message for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Um, what is the advice my beautiful Virgo is giving to themselves? What do you wish for? Manifesting your wishes, nine of water. This is the nine of cups. You're telling yourself in this situation that whatever you want, whatever you wish for, you can make it. You can make the dream come true, okay? There is total abundance available to you. Good health, emotional stability, financial uh, abundance and rewards and prosperity, all yours for the taking. You can have it all. You absolutely can have it all, Virgo, okay? And you're calling it in, you're manifesting this. Be careful what you wish for, because it might just turn out exactly the way that you want. So make sure the wording is exactly right, okay? Wording is so important. Uh, I think I said this story uh, uh, a couple of months ago. I won't say what I wish for, but I wish for something. And it came true exactly to the letter that I asked it for. Uh, I asked of it, you know, I asked the universe for, and I was like, huh, what a trick, because I asked for this, but I didn't really want it exactly like that, I was hoping it would be more like this, it's a bit freaky that it's turned out exactly like what I asked for, but there were a few details that I really didn't want, okay, now, when you're asking the universe, you're very lucky to be given what it is that you want. So I'm very grateful for what came my way, but it taught me a very valuable lesson about the words 
being very important for what you choose. Okay. How many times have you uttered something and it's shown up the way you've asked for it? Okay. So be mindful what you tell yourself, be mindful what you uh, want to wish for as well. Okay. Um, now the nine of water indicates you're doing a lot of manifesting and your dreams are coming true. You're manifesting from a viewpoint of wanting to action your dreams. So you're basically asking yourself what it is you want. The judgment card indicates you're asking the bigger questions. Now, what is the environment? The fact that you've got a nine of cups, a nine of water really is a nine of cups, and a fortune's wheel plus an ace of water and the star card. I mean, there's a lot of success happening here for you. You're calling it in. Oh my gosh. The seven of fire. Seven of fire says Virgo is above all the competition. Seven of fire says you are your personal best Virgo. Don't doubt yourself at all. And certainly do not give up. Okay. Because the environment you, you may have overcome some obstacles recently, whether that's you lost your mojo, became cynical about the career path that you chose, maybe felt like it was not for you anymore. Maybe you're shaking up the system here and doing things a little bit differently. But Spirit says here, don't give up on your dreams. You can achieve whatever it is you want because you're above the competition. You are your personal best, okay? Uh, there's an energy here that um, you're reaching up for something better. And you're nearly there. You are nearly there. Okay. Uh, so they're just saying Padua to me. Padua. Padua. I guess that's a place. Padua. Padua. What? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Why Padua? Could you please? Padua. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but I feel like it's in Italy because they're showing me um, Italy on a map. They show me a map of the world and they're pinpointing Italy's, you know, the shape of the Italy boot type thing. Um, Padua. So I don't know what Padua means for you. Maybe you're booking a trip to Padua. My gosh, maybe it's not even in Italy. I don't, maybe it's not even in Italy. I don't know because uh, I don't know all the places in the world. But they're indicating on a map that Italy, they're showing me Italy basically. So I, I'm going to look after the reading and see if I've made a complete doofus of myself or uh, whether they're indicating but I always trust spirit what they're giving me so Padua I feel um, either you're booking a trip or you had a trip that was delayed or maybe you're from Padua maybe it means something to you maybe you're reading the word Padua maybe it's a surname please take it as it resonates it's not going to be for everyone now what is a hope and fear four of earth Strong, solid foundation. You hope that you've built a strong, solid foundation financially in order to action a new start in something. I feel very much like you're thinking for the long term. And I feel like um, you may feel like by taking a leap of faith into the unknown, it leads you to financial vulnerability. Okay, so there's a hope and a fear here. But I feel like Spirit's indicating you got this. You've built a very solid financial foundation and you're taking ownership. You've come, you've come so far. Virgo, remember the accomplishments because we often stand in a viewpoint of the present and we look to the future when it comes to our career. We rarely look back unless we're asked to submit like a resume. We're always looking to the future. So there's an energy here of remember how far you've come. Pat yourself on the back for all the accomplishments. They will take you on the next part of the journey. There is security here, financial security. So don't doubt the situation. Now, They've also messenger of earth. Here comes the news. So if you're waiting for something, as I said, with the two of fire, waiting for some sort of news or uh, outcome, perhaps you're waiting for results. Maybe you had taken a, an exam or perhaps you have booked yourself on some sort of learning, some sort of course, gaining knowledge, and you're waiting to get the certificate uh, before you could action this new opportunity. Um, there's news coming on in here. Messenger of Earth indicates there is a financial news. And when you get a messenger of Earth, it's also an indication here that your hard work, your endurance, and your integrity for whatever it is that you do, your true grit, it will carry you through. There is either some sort of new job opportunity, a raise, a promotion, or something available to you that you've been waiting for. It brings a lot of financial prosperity, okay? You're dedicated and determined um, to reach your goals and your efforts will pay off, okay? I feel like, Virgo, you never leave a job undone, ever, 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 okay? So your hopes and fears are that there is more financial reward for what you do and that you've already built a solid foundation. Um, the fear here could be that, um, you know, 
you're wondering if it's the job of your dreams now we'll clarify this energy here um I feel like it is a solid offer that stands the test of time and I feel like you invest fully in it and I feel like it invests fully in you as well. It allows, it paves the way for you to have a wonderful new start. Thank you so much for it guys. Uh, let's see uh, a, an outcome. Seven of water. So you're going to have a choice here. There's a couple of, I feel like there's, there's two major, yeah. There's two major, it feels like fork in the road energy. There's two major choices here for you, Virgo. Um, really listen to your intuition and do what it is that you love is what they're indicating here. So they're just asking me to look at this card closely. So this is not going to be for everybody, Virgo, but uh, I'm just going to give it to you as I'm seeing it. They're giving me... Um, basically they're showing me like a white dress okay and they're saying the lady in the white dress now male or female not a gender specific reading but perhaps you're looking at a picture that's got a lady in a white dress or you are the lady in a white dress right now you're looking at yourself in the mirror or something please take it as it resonates it's not going to resonate for everybody maybe you're a dresser you know, um, or maybe you are um, a clothes designer, the lady in the white dress. I don't know why they're mentioning that. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, so please take it as it resonates. It doesn't mean anything for me personally. Uh, but we have the seven of water indicating a lot of choices going on there for you. Uh, they're now saying Smith, Smith. So either your surname is Smith or you're working for a company that has Smith in the title. Maybe... Thank you so much. Maybe you have a maybe you are a wordsmith, or I'm not sure what that means, because they're just showing me a sword, and smith. So swords often indicate communication, intellect. You're definitely very intellectual. Um, so I, you have a lot of intelligence there. So perhaps you're being a wordsmith or something. Uh, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Um, oh wow! Oh wow! So, so we have the justice card indicating the right career opportunity and the right finances are coming for you, okay? Justice is the law of karma. Uh, in this deck in particular, it is about choosing the right path that is meant for you. It being a win-win situation here, but you will find a solution that gives you a balanced outcome. I feel very much like... Um, it's almost like an... They're giving me equitable energy exchange so whatever you are doing i feel like or choosing i feel like there's lessons here that change you and it leads to a an incredible brighter future here i also feel like you've got to make a choice on something okay but you will find a solution it involves a conversation for sure okay um now we've also got this page of earth so there's the actual job offer whatever this is it is the start of something really exciting. So you'll hear the news and you're going to, uh, it's like after a period of a rocky time that you've been through Virgo, I feel very much like you're being offered something really solid, something very uh, grounded, dependable, reliable financially. I also feel like you're committed to prosperity, to your goal. When you get a, a page of earth, it indicates that your dreams are about to be realized and it's the start of a new project that brings in a lot of finances. Uh, there's tangible success here. The first signs of tangible success. Money that you'll actually be able to see. It's not just a, an idea. You are a doer and you will get the job done. And I feel like everything started with a plan. Whatever plan you had is starting to generate into a reality financially. So there's a lot of financial reward here. Um, going on but I feel like you're asking bigger questions we got the ace of air this is destiny and fate intervening when you get an ace of air especially in this deck the law of karma is very powerful you deserve this Virgo you work damn hard now is the time not to take your foot off the pedal but to free yourself up a little bit to enjoy the fruits of your labor when you get an ace of swords an ace of air is an ace of swords it's about new ideas it's about an epiphany it's about mental clarity and some sort of news aces bring news and bring new opportunities to so either do some sort of new project that requires you to talk or use your intellect 
whatever you're passionate about, uh, perhaps you're a public speaker or something like that, I feel very much like you're rising up through the ranks. As I said, I feel like you're rising up through the ranks and then you get to a big job opportunity that's like, and now you're diving in and taking a risk. That's that. The ace, okay? I feel like you're really, this is the big one, okay? It brings a lot of financial security and it's something you truly deserve, okay? I feel like it also gives you a little bit of freedom there as well. Um, now, I'm just going to clarify some of this energy before I close the reading. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please clarify this Temptation card, the Devil card? What was that about? Thank you so much. Four of Wands, the Star card, okay? So, the Four of Wands indicates um, some sort of uh, perhaps temptation to reunite with um, someone you're passionate about, someone that you have a high level commitment with as well. Uh, I feel very much like the star card, you want to heal something with somebody. Now this could be something with somebody that you work with, or um, but I feel like, Virgo, I'm not sure if I, in the energy that I'm getting, it's almost like I'm sitting on the fence with something. So I feel like I'm picking up your energy like, should I go after my career or should I settle down? Now, you can have it all. I'm getting an energy here that you can have it all. But I feel like the obsessive energy that is being questioned in this card, it feels like maybe you worked so hard that you didn't leave yourself time to open yourself up to love and uh, to things like marriage or union, that sort of thing. And I feel like you're healing yourself from that obsessive energy. I feel like you've illuminated the way away from that obsessive energy to give you an opportunity to either reunite with somebody that you really cared about, had a lot of passion for, there was a spark between you and this person, or it is to move into a, a, some sort of committed relationship that leads to a higher level commitment. Because this is my halfway to marriage card, okay? But And the star card indicates either some sort of healing with somebody, but I feel like you're releasing obsessive energy in order to embrace the more important things in life, like love, okay? Money will, money's going to flow towards you, okay? But I feel like you may have been working too hard that you didn't allow yourself time, or you just never had enough time or energy to embrace everything. I mean, you're a superhuman, Virgo, but sometimes you got to say, hey, Superhuman's got to have a day off, right? You've got to have a little bit of a rest. Kick back your shoes and just sort of go, oh, God, I really deserve this moment to myself. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Any further energy that you'd like to clarify before we close this reading? A lot of success coming your way, Virgo. Justice, Six of Swords. Look at that. What is meant for you will never pass you by. The Justice card, again, indicates this is right for you, Okay. This is now fair. This is fate intervening. Karma, okay? There's going to be a win-win situation here. Uh, if you've been thinking about taking a leap of faith into a new opportunity or closing down a cycle, maybe even just in a department to step into a new opportunity in a different department, it feels like you win this situation, okay? Whatever you do now actually affects your future. I feel like it's successful for you. There's a lot of wisdom here. Um, but as you can see, the Six of Swords indicates you are, there's a necessary transition here. You're relocating. It's a travel card. You're moving forward. It's a rite of passage. You've gained a lot of wisdom. I feel like you're very calm. You've been through some rough times, some obstacles. You've overcome those. And now you're relying on the truth of the situation. The transition is happening. And I feel like it'll be for the better. You're unearthing something better. Okay. A brighter day is in the future. I feel it's a very exciting moment for you as you move forward. Okay, now let's get some advice before we close this reading. Thank you so much for it, guys, Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? Mm. They're showing me someone cutting string. So um, we got gentleness. Oh, they asked me to go again. Um, someone's cutting string. So either you're cutting string that's for a creative project, but I just get this feeling like it's cutting string that's around some sort of food group. <laughs> I feel like you're preparing food. 
and you're cutting a string. So either that string around vegetables or string around meat or something before you cook, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to be for everybody. If that's you, there's something in this message for you. We also have celebration. Be gentle with yourself, Virgo. Okay? Sometimes you're a little bit too hard on yourself. Um, some people, I feel like some people, they misunderstand you in a way. They feel like you're very critical, etc., etc. But it's because your attention to detail is so high. And I feel like you're super critical on yourself. Sometimes you're a little bit uh, too heavy with yourself uh, in terms of negative talk. Okay? And you would not, if someone told you, you can't do that, Virgo. You don't have the qualifications for that. Or you're not good enough to do that. You'd be like, excuse me? I beg to differ. I will prove you wrong. And you will rise up against that person and prove them wrong. Spirits indicating what things... Um, Think about the way that you think and talk to yourself. What gives you the right to tell yourself those things? Because the harshest critic, Virgo, is yourself. So they just want you to be gentle with yourself, okay? That's what they're indicating with this card. Uh, there's a, you're putting a lot of cat amongst the pigeons there, but I feel like you're rising up for peace. And we got celebration. There is a cause for celebration. You're coming out on top. Uh, there's a lot of reward coming for you but it comes with transformation. Uh, now let's go to the Wisdom of the Oracle to close the reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Whoa, that energy is off the charts. We have Unfinished Symphony, the 10, okay? 10 is the Wheel of Fortune. So if you felt like, it's, it's interesting here, because I'm getting this energy that you're reconnecting, just like I was at the end. You may be reconnecting with somebody that you had a lot of passion for, but maybe work got in the way and you felt you couldn't action this career path. I will pull, uh, I'm gonna read from the book to, to um, clarify what that means, but they're giving me this other energy that Maybe there was something that you started a long time ago that was a bit of a dream of yours, but you gave it up in order to take another job to earn finances, to pay the bills, a serious kind of job. But now this creative thing or whatever it is that you used to do and it used to be a dream of yours, uh, it's not just a pipe dream. This is something that you want to action. So I feel like you're taking this up again. Um, and I feel like you're rebirthing it. It will be very successful. Let me see what they're saying from the book because I also feel like this new opportunity or this leap of faith into the unknown, um, this new beginning, I feel like it opens you up to love. So there's definitely something in the in the Libra read that may resonate for you if you have a placement there. Let's see what it said from the book. Prosperity message. Make sure you complete projects now before starting new ones. Perhaps you have created something special that will increase your sense of abundance and bring you opportunities for wealth. However, sorry, however, if you do not see it through, it will not add up to anything but more than chatter and clutter. Now is the time to put your nose to the grindstone and complete the tasks that have accumulated. Pay your bills, sign the documents, do your filing, hand in the assignment, complete that work of art. Tie up the loose ends so that you can move forward with surety, knowing that you're on the, prosper the prosperous path and feeling refreshed and excited about the future. So you're closing down a cycle. Either that's just a project that you're closing down or you're tying up loose ends before you move towards this new destiny of yours. Either way, it's going to be very, very successful. Prosperity is yours, Virgo. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels, can you please guide... Oh my gosh, you've got a lot there. Oh, I'm loving this. Number one, you have two keys. One is the key to peace, and it, it has a, um, a rose on it. So that is the, the death card key, which is endings bringing new beginnings. So you're walking away from something and embracing something new. And we also have the key and the heart. So by following your heart, you uh, unlock the truth of the situation, which is about doing something you love, but also finding love because of what you do, okay? These keys are matched. They're intrinsically matched. They're indicating they want it on the wheel of fortune. There's a lucky turn of events that brings you in line with doing whatever it is that you love doing. It brings you peace, rejuvenation, 
change, but also love. So if you're with somebody, you're with a partner, it renews your love for this person, gives you free time to spend with this person. If you're single, it opens you up to finding new love. Also, we have the leaf. So turning over a new leaf here, you're shedding something in order to move towards something new that is budding, okay? Uh, they want this on the judgment card because you're making a final decision on this. You're waking up, having some clarity, and you're on your life's purpose. You're turning things around. And finally, we have the fleur de lis. This is indicative of the emperor card. So uh, this may be that you're stepping into an entrepreneurial position, getting your own business off the ground there. Uh, a lot of choices, but a lot of new ideas bring you this solid change within your life. You're, I feel like you're stepping into some sort of leadership role, planning for the future. There's a lot of power here and a lot of success. You're a very good leader, Virgo, okay? And whatever it is that you're doing, it will be very successful. There's a new energy uh, rising up within you for success. And they want it on the Ace of Air, okay? So wonderful energy, my beautiful Virgo. I'll leave that there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. It's completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. That's important because it lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Um, also, if you'd like to be in with a chance to win a personal reading, all you have to do is take 10 minutes out of your day. I know you're super busy, so if you can take 10 minutes out of your day, that would be awesome. Um, perhaps when you free yourself up here, take 10 minutes out of your day and think about the journey ahead, what it is you want to achieve, okay? Think about the end game, what it is that you want, your wish fulfillment. Is that, you know, walking along the beach, having a, a house, new house near the beach, being an artist, being a doctor, whatever it in means for you that you want to be in life, really envisage yourself doing it. Not just you want it, but envisage yourself doing it. Feel the sand against your toes. Hear the water lapping at your feet. Hear the seagulls. Hear the people in the distance. Feel the heat on your face. Feel the sun on your back. You know, really imagine what it is that you want to achieve. Whether it's, you know, you want lots of money in your bank. Imagine doing what you do with love and then seeing the bank balance grow. Make sure you really attach all of those things. It's visualization. I want you all to rise up and receive your dreams and your goals and manifest things. So that's all I want. You can put it in the comments box below. Say what you're manifesting for. Um, you don't have to, it's a private experience. Just put the word love if you do not want to share with the collective. I will pick one lucky subscriber on the 12th of April, that new moon in Aries, for the reading, and I will uh, announce a winner on the 12th of April also, okay? Thank you so much, my beautiful Virgo. Love and light.